guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you some penny finds that i found finally it's been a little bit of a dry spell with the penny shopping um i'm also going to show you a deal i did and then i'm trying to figure out what went wrong and maybe you guys can help me all right first deal that i did actually i only did one deal i'm going to show you the penny stuff first so, I think it was last week. This week, today's Wednesday. So, yesterday, I think it was the Reese's footballs that pennied. I went shopping Sunday. I haven't been back. So, I didn't even look for those. I probably shouldn't look for those because who doesn't love Reese's? And I'm still on a diet. So, I don't need those. Um, I'm actually doing another um, one of the shred competitions. And it starts Monday morning. So, I'll have to get ready for that. Now, what I found were these shower hooks. Ooh, there we go. If you're looking for Red Dot, Red Dot pennied, I think, two weeks ago. And these were sitting right in the normal spot on the shelf, not clearance or anything. So that's what they look like. I know some of you guys like to screenshot UPCs, but you should be all set as long as... Um, it's red dot. I know some people can't scan in their store. And I did get quite a few of these. And if you follow my channel, you know the cashier at my regular store. One of them, I, she's not the friendliest. Well, the friendly one was working when I went in. Yay. She's the best. And she said that actually it was like her last day, the day before, day after. So she's gone. That's all I'm going to say. With a smile on my face. Um, these are clear ones. I know I found ones that were another color. There were ones that were, um, like a blue color, but I put, I gave her those. She's like, oh, where'd you find these? And I told her, and she's like, I was looking for some. And she's like, I go, do you want some of mine? I'm not going to use all these. And she's like, oh, I'll get in trouble. I said, um, go out and put them in the, her truck and then she won't get in any trouble. Hey, if she's nice enough to let me buy pennies and not hassle me, like I know you're supposed to be able to buy them, but you guys know as well as I do, if you have penny shop for a while, there are some cashiers that get mad and they don't want to sell them to you. So if she's being nice about it and I get extra, I will gladly give her some. The other thing I found, oh wait, these are the blue ones right here. If you want the UPC, just screenshot it. Sorry, I shake. I'm a shaking person. I always have a tremor. All right. Red dot pillows. And the funny thing about this, as you can see, it's the red dot. Um, I like to scroll through Facebook and look at people's penny hauls. That way, when I'm in the store and I see something, I recognize it. And I saw this little guy on the top shelf above all the pillows just hanging out up there. And I knew... It was a penny. So if you kind of do a little bit of homework before you go in, it makes it a lot easier. This is a $6 pillow. I also found a ballerina one. Isn't that cute? She's got a tutu. They're called Character Pillows, and they're by Comfort Bay. And there's the red dot. They're nice and soft. And I also found the football neck one. And there's your red dot. This one didn't have a tag, but it's clearly the same thing. And she, I wasn't paying attention. She must have scanned, just scanned them both. So those are the pennies that were found. Let me just shove them back in here real quick. I gotta pick up my car later because I gotta go get it fixed. Oil leaks. I have had. Pro if you guys follow me, I talk about this once in a while. I've had problems ever since I bought this car. And hopefully they're just gaskets that are gone or sealed gaskets, whatever, because my warranty, my very expensive warranty should hopefully cover it. So let's just throw these back in here. Does some of you guys look like Dollar General exploded in your car? Mine does sometimes, especially when I find pennies. All right. For what I bought, I caved. I caved and I bought one of these. Yes, I know I have a hundred of them. So we might as well just add to them. I told you guys my kid uses these in his college dorm room. I like to go through the house and just replace them every once in a while. We didn't, I didn't have the free coupon still, so it must have expired. But they're two, let's see, 25 
and my coupon was for what 209 so what's that 16 cents I'll buy it for 16 cents I also bought another one of these the mr. clean pet this I found in the clearance section and it was three dollars and sixty cents and there was three dollars off I will buy this for 60 cents all day long you know what I want to smell it pet messes odor and dirt it cuts through so got two oh, we got dogs in the house yep it's strong but it's a good cleaner I like mr. clean and 60 cents you really can't go wrong now this is the one I had issues with I bought the Caesar dog food it's two flavors 12 count filet mignon and New York strip so this is what it looks like most of the stores it's like 1545 my store is 1645 sorry about the loud traffic I'm in a parking lot um, my store that I go to is out in the middle of nowhere and it seems to be a little more expensive anywhere from like a quarter to a dollar more depending on what it is I think it's because it's out in the middle of nowhere and they can get away with charging more because people don't want to drive 30 minutes to the next town to buy something so convenience higher price we had a digital coupon for 350 off and I believe there's one for three dollars off also you got to make sure you only clip the higher value coupon I know a lot of us are are seasoned couponers at Dollar General but not everyone is so say you have a three dollar and fifty cent coupon clipped and a three dollar one clipped the lower value ones probably gonna come off first especially at the older stores so you want to have the higher value one clip so there is a danger if you go through and just clip all your coupons sometimes um, so I had the three dollar and fifty cent one clipped I actually had them both clipped so I had to switch to another account and that's where multiple accounts come in handy if you do something like that because you cannot unclip a coupon once you clip it so we had three dollars and fifty cents off of that so that brings it down to 1345 most of uh, the stores will be like 1245 because you probably have a cheaper price than me but I also went on to fetch fetch has a um, reward right now I think it's if you spend $12 on the Caesar dog food up to $12 like it once you hit $12 or over and I think you can do it more than once you get 3,300 points back which is three dollars and thirty cents so right there that brought me down to 1045 this is the part that gets weird hold on I need a drink on the old systems you're usually able to stack a digital coupon with cash back is it supposed to work that way no but it has been ever since the cash back's been coming out if I have three dollar off coupon and a three dollar cash back I usually get the three dollars off and the three dollar cash back on the old system stores and I believe I know my store is an old system because the coupon shows right under what you bought and the newer ones, I believe they're like down at the bottom. Um, I did not get the cash back, but I'm wondering if this is why. Because when I went to check out, I had like $5 and something on my cash back and I had her scan it. If your cashier is having problems um, doing the cash back when they scan it on your phone, they have to put it under gift card. That way it will come off. So after my five something came off, let's see, it came out to $9.80 and I saved $8.59 plus the credit of the five something. So this was almost $17 and I only paid nine something and got this, the Mr. Clean and the Airwick plus I got the $3.30 back from Fetch. If you need fetch, I will put my referral code in the description box below. I think I have fetch and I bought it down there. And when you use my code or link or whatever, it'll give you extra points when you scan your first receipt. So not a horrible price. I do need the dog food and it's better than paying $16.45 for it. Oh, and I think my penny items are on here also. 
Yep. I don't see where she even charged me. For oh, okay, right there. The hooks. Not bad. I mean, the coupons aren't great this week, so there's nothing. I couldn't come up with any other deal for stuff I need. And again, I'm only getting stuff I need or if it's pretty close to free and I can use it or give it away. Because, as you guys know, your, your stockpile can just pile right up to the point where you're not going to use it before it expires, which is no good. All right, guys, I I know quite a few of you said there was nothing really they wanted to get this week. So let me know if you got any good deals this week, if you're going shopping Saturday, and what you're looking for. Oh, I went, I'm at the Dollar Tree right now because I like to show you guys stuff I find at the Dollar Tree. Dry spell with the Dollar Tree lately. Even the people that I watch that do Dollar Tree hauls. There's nothing that exciting. I will say, if you're looking for stuff like summer barbecue outside luau theme, they have tons of it in there if you're doing like a summer barbecue party, which I'm going to be. So maybe I'll do a haul with that stuff if once the theme's picked out. All right, guys. I will talk to you later and hope everyone has a great day. Bye.